Hey guys, it's John here, the Vintage Geek, and welcome back for another look inside the Vintage Geek's toy room. Some of my pop figures on a shelf up there. Yes, I like to open them. I don't keep them in those little boxes that often. Some of them I do, but not that often. So we got some Lego minifigures to look at today. We've got a few more. I figured I'd do two videos since I got, you know, seven, eight, nine of these guys. I guess I got seven different ones. So I'll show you the other four that I got in this video. We'll open one more blindly here. And not that one. No, I don't think I want to do that one. No. Let's try this one maybe. Maybe we'll do this one. Yeah, let's try this one. I'm, I'm not really... I'm, I was trying to feel to see if I could get the knight. But I don't know for sure what I'm going to end up with. But I just had to pick one, right? So let's see what we got here. Because the knight is also one I want, you know. I want I like I like the knights. I've always liked them. Ooh, I like this guy. This is the adventure guy who has the gecko. I wanted this because I wanted the gecko. So this is cool. Overall, I think I got a good batch. The seven figures that I got. I got duplicates of the space cop. But that was the that was the only duplicate I got. So out of the eight packs, I got seven individual figures and a duplicate of the Space Knight, which is or the Space Cop, which is okay. He's in the previous video if you want to look at it. I'll link it in the description below, so you can go back to the other one if you missed it. Look at his face here. This guy, he's he's out for adventure. His name is uh, let's let's name him. Let's name him. Let's name him Bud. Bud. Slick Snake. Bud Slick Snake is out for adventure. <laughs> With his nice little gecko here. I'll try to get the focus on it. I don't know if this is going to work. No, it won't focus on such a tiny little thing. There we go. It's kind of getting there, right? Come on, get the gecko in focus. Eh. Well, I don't know. You kind of get the idea, right? You're gonna, you're gonna get the idea. I don't know how to. I don't know how if I can do this any better. I don't know. That's a little gecko. It's a little lizard. Well, I guess he's more like a chameleon, right? He's like a Jackson chameleon, not really a gecko. I've been saying gecko, but I think he's really a Jackson chameleon. I need to know my lizards. Get your lizards right, Mister Bud. What did we say his name was? Snake Stack or something? <laughs> he wouldn't he wouldn't get it wrong. He knows what he's looking at. Old Bud does. Um Yeah, I like how the magnifying glass magnifies his face. It actually works. The backpack is really cool. That's a nice addition to Lego, Lego backpack. This is a really nice figure. I really like this guy. He's pretty cool. I'm sure you can have a lot of great adventures with Bud here. He's gonna, you know, maybe he'll discover an ancient tomb out there and run across the mummy lady, the Egyptian mummy lady with her scorpion. It's all scary and stuff, blue hair. Well, this is kind of neat. I like this one. She's got two different faces. Boink, there's the other face. <laughs> I'll give you a couple close-ups of the faces here so you can see that better. So she's got this Egyptian face before she turns into a mummy. And then she's got the raw mummy face. <laughs> and we also got Pizza Guy. Pizza Guy is one that I was hoping to get too because I, I like all the ones. Like I got Hot Dog Guy. I got the cactus guy from previous sets, you know. So I like all the food guys, the corn on the cob guy. So now I've got the pizza guy, so that's pretty good. I think there was a birthday cake guy. And I did get the knight, which was one that I really wanted. So I was happy about him. I got the ghost knight. So that was really nice. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with the selection that I got. There might only be maybe one more character that I could use. Out of this set, I, I wouldn't mind having Ninja, the gamer guy. But if you take the helmet off, he's got this um, ghostly face. 
that's why I'm saying he's a ghost knight, you know. But with the helmet on, you can't really see it that much in there. The shield is really nice. I like the shield, the back arm, armor. The armor is typical to, like, the early knights that they've had. So he's overall pretty cool. Well, that's about it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know in the comments what minifigure do you want to get out of this set. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.